Hello, welcome back to Chat About It, Don't Shout About It with me, Rachel, aka the Queen of the Woke, as crowned by one of my haters. Listen, it is a JK Rowling video. I know I said I wasn't going to do another one for a little while, but this, this came to light very suddenly. And this is all after the uh, cast review, cast report that's been going on. And someone suggested that perhaps Emma Watson and Daniel Radcliffe Oh, J.K. Rowling, a massive public apology. And J.K. Rowling essentially was like, nah, she wasn't having it. Let's just have a look at her tweet very quickly. So um, exactly. I won't be lectured on this toxicity by the of the debate by men who believe exactly what I believe, but have been too cowardly to speak out the truth is they didn't fancy taking hits i've taken and didn't want to admit it okay and then there's a whole thread of tweets now i'm gonna link that one to you but there was also um it's in the quoted tweet she uh she quoted this <laughs> quoted i was gonna say uh, i refuse to accept that advocating for boundaries uh, women's boundaries or concerns over the medicalization of children have contributed to a toxic debate in any way other than if you hadn't said no then I wouldn't have had to raise my voice or hand. And then this one right here. So this is the one I wanted to get to. And it, for some reason now it's popping up on the right-hand side, which is really annoying. Um, have, however, so Adam Harris said, just waiting for Dan and Emma to give you a very public apology, safe in the knowledge that you will forgive them. And she said, not safe, I'm afraid. Celebs who cozied up to a movement intent on eroding women's hard-won rights and who use their platforms to cheer on the transitioning of minors can save their apologies for traumatized detransitioners and vulnerable women reliant on single sex spaces. Now, that's what she said. So, she doesn't want their apology. She thinks that she's essentially saying that if they should choose to apologize, and that is just should, then they can apologize to any detransitioners and um, the women relying on single sex spaces, as she said. So I just wanted to make that perfectly clear because I know a lot of people take a, a JK, what J.K. Rowling says as face value sometimes without reading into it i know that happens i'm not calling people people dumb there is like a big echo chamber with the trans debate and i feel like sometimes people stop thinking for themselves and follow one course of argument which is generally why i i tend to present the jk rowling stuff this is what jk said this is what they said that's how i i tend to do it if you need to know my view on jk rowling go back to the much earlier stuff that i did where i stated my views on jk rowling now of course this was released in an article um uh as well and i will obviously link that to you too but um this just brings up something that uh, daniel radcliffe has said at the time and of course emma watson so we'll just uh, read emma um very quickly so i want my trans followers to know that i and so many other people around the world see you and respect you and love you for who you are and appear to make a dig at JK Rowling at the BAFTAs. Um, I'm here for all witches, says Emma Watson at the BAFTAs in the apparent JK Rowling dig. I remember when that went viral on, on Twitter, it was quite something. Um, so she's hinting that, you know, she's she's blaming JK Rowling in some respects, perhaps hinting at it. I, I wouldn't like to say per se, you know, I don't want to get Emma into a lot of trouble um and then we've got Daniel Radcliffe who actually I will go to this article this article is actually still available um who appears to apologize on JK Rowling's behalf now let me just find that very quickly for you so he says that he's like well aware that JK Rowling is you know 
the reason why his life has taken its course the way that it has. And he's still, you know, here is a that great, that's fine, got no issue with that. Um and further down though, even though the media, you know, he was worried that the media was going to paint it in a certain way, and he, he wanted to be clear, obviously, that it was not going to be painted in a certain way. But he says, I am deeply sorry for the pain these comments have caused you. So to all the people who are now finished, uh, who now feel that their experience of the books has been tarnished or diminished, I am deeply sorry for the pain these comments have caused you. I really hope that you don't entirely lose what was valuable to you in uh, in these stories to you. Now, I personally don't think that Daniel Radcliffe should apologize for J.K. Rowling saying what she, what she said. If J.K. Rowling should ever feel the need to apologize, then she will. She released an apology tweet for something the other day, just the other day. So we know that she does it. Um, now, should Emma and Daniel release an apology because of what was released with within the cast report? What do you think? Okay, if you want to know my view, I think personally, no, because of the of potential major backlash, which does happen in the trans debate, will happen. And I think in that respect for mental health, that's that's a big deal. But overall, should I think they apologize? Should I think that they should apologize? Well, I can't really answer that other than what I've just said. What do you think, though? Do you think that they should apologize to J.K. Rowling, or do you think that J.K. Rowling's right saying that they should apologize to detransitioners and women, or should they just say nothing? We will see. Anyway, chat about it. Don't shout about it. Let me know what you think. Uh, I've linked everything below. Subscribe to my channel and be prepared for my second video, which is coming up very soon. Have a good night. Bye-bye.